You speak without notes all of the time. And I'm not talking about in your speeches, I'm talking about in everyday conversation. When you're having a conversation with someone, you aren't sitting there over a cup of coffee consulting your separate notes and making sure you're saying exactly the right thing in exactly the right way. You just speak from what's already there. And that's the skill that you want to master when it comes to public speaking. There's this mindset shift of recognizing that speeches are just enhanced conversation. We don't have to go into this special speech zone and, and be scripted and word perfect. In order to do this, there are a couple of key tactics that you want to consider of how you start to make that shift. And ultimately, good speaking, and especially getting off those notes, is to stop speaking from the head where you're thinking and analyzing everything you're saying, and when you're speaking instead from the heart. Just like you are in your everyday conversations, sitting opposite someone, all of those words that come out naturally, we're going to be doing the same thing with your speeches as well. Just like everyone, when I first started speaking, I was using notes. And not just for my short speeches. I was using notes and scripts when I started to do my extended workshops and seminars. My first ever workshop I did was a two hour workshop and I scripted the whole thing word for word and I spent weeks leading up to it, practicing and revising and rehearsing the material. A couple months after I did my first full day event, seven hours of speaking content and can you believe it? I scripted seven hours and again took weeks practicing it and remembering it and saying it pretty much word for word how I practiced it on the day and it's just it's an exhausting process it's a tedious and repetitive process and honestly it isn't that successful a lot of the time you forget what you're going to say you flub a line you you say the the wrong thing in the right way or the right thing in the wrong way and even if you do manage to remember and recite everything, it's coming out in a very stunted, wooden way, because it's not natural to speak like that. Go into my early analogy of when you're having a coffee conversation with someone, you have a different tempo when you're speaking from the heart compared to when you're speaking from a script. And apart from highly skilled actors who do this all of the time in terms of remembering and rehearsing their lines, as speakers, we're not pulling it off in the same way. What you need to do instead is think of a different approach to your speaking, an approach that makes it more conversational, more natural, and quite frankly, easier and simpler to prepare than trying to go through the script and recite process. I've got three key ideas to share with you today about how you can get rid of those notes and start speaking from here. What's your life story? That's a very intense question, isn't it? But if I ask you right now, tell me about the key events in your life. What has shaped you into the person that you are today? You can pretty much tell me, can you? Now, yeah, there is a couple of details that you might miss out and forget, but from the age of zero to whatever age you are now, you could speak for a couple of hours, probably, if you're really going into the detail of all those different things. No notes, no script, no preparation. How are you able to do that? Because you're sharing a personal story. And this is the first tip for speaking without notes, is to try and center and structure your speeches around personal stories and anecdotes as much as possible because you already know what those stories are, because you live through them, you experience them. Yes, there is an element of practicing and refining how you tell those stories. So it's not that you go into a speech completely unpracticed, but you go into a speech unscripted. And you tell the story as it happened, you share the emotions that are real because you've gone through them. By centering your speech around personal stories, you can take a lot of the scripting and notes out of it just because you already know what the content is because you've lived through it and experienced it. One of the best pieces of advice I ever received along my speaking journey, before I even knew I was on a speaking journey, was from one of my mentors who said, you've got to learn how to speak extemporaneously. They said, you've got to turn on a camera, 
just start speaking into it and keep on going until you've run out of things to say. <laughs> and at the time I didn't even know I was going to be a speaker, but I knew I wanted to go into an area of teaching, coaching, sharing information. And so that's why I started doing it. I sat down in front of the webcam on my computer and I had an idea in my mind, here's a topic I want to speak on, thinking of a couple points I could speak about, some stories or anecdotes I could share, and then I turned on the camera and just went for it. And this is how you build your ability to speak off of the notes, is learning how to speak to keywords. For the video today, for example, I have no script or notes prepared for today. All I did, and in fact, I can show you what I, I did today. Here's my notes. It doesn't even fit on a full piece of paper. Here's some, <laughs> here's some client feedback I was doing. And I just had a little bit right at the end of the paper, how to speak without notes. That is what I've written for today. So you can get a little sneak preview of what you're getting <laughs> later in the video. So I've written down my eight stages and for those of you who've watched some of my other YouTube videos, you know you do my YouTube videos in eight sections. So I've done the eight stages and I've written a key word or a key phrase. And after that, I'm just going for it. So right now I'm on number six, keyword practice. Look, number six, keyword practice. You probably can't read my handwriting because it's terrible. And those two words, keyword practice, anchored around that idea are the advice from my mentor, about sitting in front of the camera and speaking, and ultimately my advice to you is you've got to learn to train this ability. So this isn't a magic technique that you can pull out your pocket ready for the speech next week. If you're serious about speaking and serious about speaking well, this is a practice you need to be putting in over the long term, is learning how to speak without those notes, without those scripts, and doing it in a situation where there aren't any stakes. If you flub a line and mess up on camera, that's all right. You can just speak over it. You can start again. You can make another point. You can go in a different direction. Take that time and invest it at least once a week, preferably multiple times a week. Just open up the camera, learning how to speak into it naturally, the way you do in all of your other speaking opportunities in life, i.e. real everyday human conversations. In everyday conversations, we don't even use keywords. We just say the thing that's there. Speeches, a little bit more structure, have your keywords and key phrases and learn how to have a lot of information anchored to one word or one phrase. I've talked about some of the, the journey and some of the lessons of developing as a speaker and the, there's definitely some mistakes that you learn from and then there are other people's mistakes that you learn from as well. And I hope very much to put you into the second category with this video today. When I started the journey as a speaker, I was just learning a lot of this as I went. For you, I don't want you to, to learn on the job. I want you to be prepared and advanced going forward. If you're looking for how to develop some of these key foundations and habits of good speaking, then you want to check out my book, Rise and Inspire. This is a starter handbook for people who are aspiring speakers, people who are wanting to make speaking their, their main profession. I had to get off the notes. I had to get through a lot of other bad habits and bad practices in order to develop and enhance my speaking ability. And I wish I'd had a handbook like this at the start of the journey that would have made things a lot easier for me, pointed me in the right direction for things to do. So because the book wasn't available for me, when I was starting out, I've written the book for you to help you when you're starting out. This is a number one bestseller on Amazon in the, the public speaking category. It's available on ebook, paperback, audiobook, all of the formats are available on Amazon. If you click the link in the description, you can grab yourself a copy, give yourself a handbook to help you with all of the different foundational habits and practices that you need along your speaking journey. And to help you with this particular practice of learning how to speak without notes, I've got one more idea to share with you. Similar to the last suggestion, this is not the pull it out of your pocket ready for the, the speech next week. This is your long-term thinking and preparation for how you speak without notes. Ultimately, 
you've really just got to know your topic inside out. If we're sitting over a cup of coffee and I ask you about your topic, about your industry, and you're struggling to tell me over a cup of coffee, you're definitely going to struggle when you're delivering a speech because a speech, you just have to be so switched on and so clued in to knowing your stuff, knowing it back and forth, knowing it inside out, being really well read, well versed and having a, a depth and a quality to that. So this isn't really a tangible technique that you can use. It's more just a, an understanding and a mentality of you've really got to dive into what you want to be your topic of expertise. Reading books, listening to podcasts, uh, watching films and documentaries, speaking to experts and practitioners in the, in the field. You've just got to know what you're talking about inside out. So when you're sitting with someone over coffee, when someone asks you a question at a party, when you're, you're trying to explain what you do to uh, you know, a five-year-old or to your parents, you've just got to have those answers ready there. And again, I know this isn't helpful advice, and I know it's probably not what you're looking for in this video. I've got a speech next week and I'm trying to get off the notes. What do I do? So this isn't coming in time for your speech next week, but it's coming in time for your speeches in the following weeks, months, and years. Really become a, a disciple and a master of your topic. And that's when you'll be able to speak without notes because just everything will be in here and ingrained. That's what the journey of being a speaker is all about. It's about making sure that you are always the expert and you always have things that you can share with people, that you are constantly learning because you've got to stay ahead. When you're teaching people things and they're catching up and boy, they'll catch up fast because you're working with some, some aspirational, committed folks, you've got to keep on staying ahead of the curve so that you're on your position of leadership and service so you can continue to give, continue to lead and continue to serve. And when you're in that space, you're going to be a long, long, long way away from all of those hours spent writing those scripts, reciting them, trying to remember them and getting up on stage and hoping you don't flub a line. That's the aspiration. That's the journey. For the moment, put this mentality into practice. Put some of those ideas into practice. We'll get you off those notes and we'll get you speaking just like we're having a cup of coffee together.